Hey, let's talk duck convert. I mean, buck converters. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Make It. Today we're talking buck converters. That's right. You've got too much voltage. You need to hook up a Noctura fan. We can do it. So here we have our buck converter. We have our input over here, our output over here. And all we have to do is connect our source and then connect what we want uh, to adjust the voltage for on the other end. Now, our input voltage can be anything from uh, 12 volts all the way up, even lower. It can be 5 volts. All the way up to, I believe this one can handle um, 48 volts in. Now your output, uh, you have to make sure that your output amperage is not does not exceed your input amperage. So if your input amperage is hmm, five five amps, you can't output over five amps going to be below your voltage can change though so um, if our input voltage is 12 volts or let's say 24 volts in my case um, I can take the output voltage down to 18 volts I can take it down to 12 volts 5 volts 4 volts 3 volts uh, just by adjusting the potentiometer right there so I'll demonstrate this once we get the wires all sort of soldered on and I'm going to do that now. And we're done. We have one buck converter soldered up. Okay, so I have my meter hooked up. Now, I've put some tape over the light because it was quite bright and it was blinding the camera. So I'm going to adjust the pot here. And as I turn it, you can see you can adjust the voltage so to get it just right. So let's say I had a five volt knock to a fan well now it works with my 3d printer so buck converters are very handy for adjusting your voltage I can even go all the way up to 12 volts now unfortunately I don't have a 24 volt power supply readily handy it's in my printer but I will be able to adjust this so I can make my 12 volt fans work all right, here's just a quick demonstration. I've got the um, fan, which is going to be really hard to see. There we go. I've got the fan running in the background here, right here. And then I've got my meter on, and I'm going to adjust the buck converter. And it slows down the fan. So now we're only outputting, you know, low voltage to the fan. Still getting airflow, but it's slowed down and it's quite quiet. Now, I can crank her up. Now, I don't know if you can... And go all the way up to full speed. So you can adjust your fan speed and sound 
with your buck converter. So you could take your stock 12 volt or 20 volt, 4 volt system with noisy fans and just drop the voltage a bit. Now I'm going to use these nice fans. These are 120 um, centi uh, millimeters uh, to put on my, my 3D printer to quiet it down. I'm going to get lots of airflow out of these, but they're going to be way quieter than the small fan that's currently on my printer. But thanks to the buck converter, I can adjust the volume level at will. So that's another great use for a buck converter. You can also use it to put uh, 12 volt lights onto your 3D printer. Um, there are, and you can wire it direct from the power supply and not worry about messing with your stock motherboard wiring and trying to tap in there. You can nor, typically on your power supply, you've got a lot of options of connections. Uh, and they're not always all used, so keep that in mind. And you can really improve your 3D printing experience and sound, especially if you've done one of the upgrades to the silent steppers. Now, a buck converter is not the only way to hook fans or other devices into a 20 volt, 4 volt system if they're 12 volt or less and have them work. There are a few other ways, and I'm going to show you one now. Okay, so I've hooked up my two fans here in series. So the first fan, I connected the 12 volt positive to. The negative from this first fan is then connected to the positive on this fan and then the negative on this fan is connected back to my power source. By doing that I've effectively halved the voltage that I needed. So these are actually running at 6 volts not 12 or 5 point whatever because it's 11 on this. But if I put these on a 24 volt system I can now run these at full speed and each of them will be running 12 volts, not 24 volts because they're in series. The, there's two benefits to this or detriments depending on how you look at it. If one of these fans fails, they both stop. So if you want them to run independently of each other and, and not fail, then you'd need to use two buck converters or one buck converter and run them slower. Uh, in my case, I'm actually going to run a buck converter on each fan because I want to adjust their cooling independently at their full speed. So I want to be able to run these at 12 volts each or less depending on the cooling needs. Now these are quite a bit larger fans and quite a bit quieter fans like you can barely hear them running right now so this will be a good addition to the upgrade on the Chiron. Well I hope that was informative. Um, there are many uses for buck converters as you can see. Um, 3D printing, other projects uh, that you could use them for they're very handy. Uh, the type I used in the uh, video, um, they're very inexpensive. I got 10 of them for, I think, $10. So uh, really, really cheap. Um, you can get smaller ones. You can get ones with digital displays, uh, sky's the limits. Um, you can get ones that are way higher amperage. So depending on your project, there are a lot of ways to use it. So. Hopefully that was informative. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and ring the bell to have notifications on all our upcoming videos.
see you next time.